So there, you've also been working with the with the OLPC. We have. We've been. Um, experimenting with putting the Pepper user experience and application framework onto the OLPC. As you may know, the OLPC is designed uh, to use the Fedora core operating system, the Linux kernel and, and uh, applications, and um, so so is the Pepper user experience. And so we thought it would be interesting to try uh, to see how the user experience would work and translate over to the OLPC. One of the interesting things about Pepper, the company, is that we originally started to uh, develop software for kids, and so the OLPC is kind of a natural for us. Um, so this is an interesting product because it has a very high resolution screen. Yeah. This is a uh, 1200 by 900 pixel resolution screen. And uh, it's visible with a backlight and it also is visible without the backlight. Because the Pepper is only 800... Uh, this is only 800 by 480 on the yeah. Pepper Pad. This is a much higher resolution screen. Right. So there's a fair amount of work you have to go yeah. to to make um, the user experience work well on the, the same, resolution It's the same screen. resolution uh, without the backlight, right? Yeah, uh, it seems to be. I, I, apparently yeah. there's some difference. I'm not an expert. Yeah, so those buttons aren't hooked up on this particular one right. here. So can you um, show so us a bit a, of the Linux? Yeah, so this is a uh, prototype of the device, and we can show you some of the UI. Um, looks very much like it does on the HyperPad itself. Here's the the uh, basic uh, starting point, the home page, if you will. We've done a little customization for it. More in the works. Here's the photo the photo library. Um, package um, that you can use, that the kids can use to organize their photos. Yeah, could you click on one to see the page? Sure. Here's the full full page view of the of the photograph. All right. I can see it looks very nice on yeah. this uh, on wow. screen. Wow. Hey, can you, can you go to the next page and all that? Uh, uh, it, this keyboard has some issues, so uh, we'll, we'll try to, to do it. How about this? this, this the, uh, the buttons. There we go. Oh, it is this. It just takes a little bit longer. This one, uh, again, is a is a pre-production prototype, so yeah. it has a few performance issues that uh, there's uh, folks are still working on. So can you go? Uh, can, you can exit it. Yep. There, you just push this button. Uh, you can either escape. Yeah, yeah they got a little escape, escape button there. All right. Um, so you know, you can do the music library just like you do there. Uh, email if you want. Um, the photo. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you the. Um, Movies play pretty well on here. Yeah. So here's another little trailer. Um, nice. Whoa. But this is, uh, what is the resolution of this video? You know? Uh, I think this was shot at a, at a VGA kind of a resolution. I'm not really yeah. sure. But maybe it's only 320? Could be enough scale to uh, fit on the screen here, but it's Whoa. pretty good. This is video on the OLPC. Yeah. Nice. This is card read error, so it might be the so, full um, screen. Yeah, and so let's see, uh, ebooks is another thing that um, is a big part of the uh, OLPC project. And uh, so here's an ebook sample um, we've got. And uh, one of the things that you may know about the OLPC is that you can um, change its, its uh, format here and you can turn it into a uh, ebook format. So you can um, switch it like this, and uh, now you can read your ebook. Whoa. And you can just use this this guy here to, to change pages. And the, the screen looks really like a nearly looks like a Sony e-reader. Yep. I mean it's really nice because all the lights are reflected and used. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see the reflection reflected mode of the this display is, now. Wow, this is really readable. Nice. And uh, does it does it work this button? Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah you can just switch pages with that button there. This book doesn't have a lot of. It's just a sort of a sample book, so it doesn't have a lot of text in it, but. So this, is this uh, the same software you're using with Amazon? It is. Yep. Yeah? This is the same uh, ebook reader software that we right. have. So, so you have uh, you have, you can uh, you can also have uh, proprietary content like uh, uh, commercial books without protection uh, with protection or. Yes. Yeah, so the Moby Reader will support both uh, protected books and unprotected books. And uh, Moby has some software that allows you to make your own books as well. Moby? So, is Moby that does. the software? Uh, does Moby Pocket is a division, a group within uh, Amazon, and right. they're the creators of this software. Uh, right. Ebook reader software. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you have, can you show some more? Oh, sure. So, um, let's see what else do we have here. Well, maybe we can. Uh, I'm plugging the mouse. The uh, touchpad on this particular one is, is not working too well. Yeah, um, that's the same with the other uh, beta one models. Yes, this is a beta one model. So, so here's the web browser. Um, you know, again, we have the 
So the, the applications um, we have are uh, for web, web browsing is a Firefox. Okay. Firefox yes. based web browser, so we have tab browsing. Firefox on the old PC. Right. Nice. So this is you know pretty much full Firefox. So we can go to uh, you know check out the news. Where we want now. Here at the show, we're using Wi-Fi, of course, and Wi-Fi is always kind of an interesting thing to do at uh, this show because there's a lot of Wi-Fi. See some of the access points here that are um, just a lot of a lot of Wi-Fi traffic here at the show. Uh, but it's very responsive. It's very fast mm -hmm. on the Wi-Fi. It's pretty good. Yeah. You can see, there's just a lot of different uh, access points here. So, so this is the first sale was it retail. really hard work to make a, to port it over the, yeah. to this hard hardware? No, the Pepper environment was very easy to get working on here. Um, there are some nuances of the user uh, experience in terms of uh, hardware buttons in that. Um, and you know, we still have to see where we're going to go with all this. This is a technology demonstration, and uh, to see how well it would be uh, acceptable. This is amazing. This is like whoa! It looks like a real computer. I mean, yeah. the interface. There's a lot, a lot, a lot there you can do with it. So yeah, so it's, it's Windows thing. based. Can you? Is it? Can you? Can you minimize the window in the in the no, OS? This is, no, this is all Linux. Again. Again. This is not any oh, of uh, yeah. Microsoft software. This is all Linux based. But so. you have? Uh, do you have? Uh, every application is full screen. Every application is designed to be full screen. So um, there is no overlap. One of the things that we found in designing uh, uh, software, especially for consumers and kids, is they don't so like overlapping windows. So uh, we've really Geo's used tabs processor. instead of overlapping Geo's windows, AMD, so that you can switch uh, between your apps much easier. Is there an application manager to know what's running? These little uh, icons down here at the bottom tell you yeah. the applications that are running. Down there? So you right. can see those little guys there. So, so can you just shut them down all, of the, uh, all at one time or you have to do it uh, separately? Um, you know, you don't really have to shut them down as much as you can. Um, it's easy to do. You just click the red button. and. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's really multitasking or is it... Absolutely that's multitasking. It's, it's real Linux, so you can so we run you know, do all kinds of stuff at the same time. Right now. So you can switch. Switch. Yeah, if you want to go to so you know, the talk is, application, you can launch the talk application. For, uh, um, integrating one interesting thing about sites. the talk application in Pepper uh, is we support peer-to-peer -peer, uh, IM. IM. So if you're in a mesh network, uh, which is one of the uh, things that um, uh, the OLPC is designed for, you can sign on to local IM there, and you can see some of the Pepper pads that are out in uh, here at the show. Um, here's uh, John's pad, and we can uh, do a little chat with him. Uh, we, we have tabbed um, uh, session management for multiple uh, IM sessions. Uh, so if we want to talk to Mark P's pad, we can do that too at the same time, and we can say. Well, and uh, now we can switch over here, you know, back and forth between two different sessions. We're concentrating on. All right. You know, so bigger than okay, so but uh, Pepper, are you like a huge company, or how how, do, how come you? Can We're a pretty small company, about 15 people in the Boston area. Oh yeah, um, and we've been working on uh, most of this software for about four and a half, yeah. five years now. Aren't you based also in Asia? Somewhere? Uh, the Pepper Pad 3 is built uh, and engineered in Korea. In Korea? Right. Yeah. But uh, Pepper Software and uh, Pepper Computer are, are based in the Boston area. All the Linux uh, applications and all that and the OS, all that is All the software in, yeah. is done in the Boston area. Right? All right. Yeah. How long time have you been uh, having the, the laptop to play with? Since uh, the beginning? Just a couple weeks. A couple of weeks? Yeah. Just a couple weeks we've been playing with it. But ha has it been like a hurry to make it work for the CES or not especially? Um, well, we just we wanted to get it working. Working, and then we thought, well, since we had it working, we uh, we thought it would be fun to show it off at the uh, CES show. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks. 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 Uh, I'll show you this, this is uh, six hundred fifty dollars for this. So this, you can see, it's a three sixty four megahertz uh, geode processor running on that. On this. this one's got two hundred six mega RAM. Yeah. The disk space isn't showing up right. The model is not correct. It is. It should say OLPC there. Nowadays, the laptop price is. So that part's incorrect there. <laughs> Forget that part. But for this way, it's uh, two pounds. But I was just showing you the process. So if you go to the same page in here, um, see, first of all, it's a lot faster. And then you can see it's a 533 megahertz uh, processor. And this one's also got 256 meg of RAM. So you didn't get 
a special a special processor just for your 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 samples. Price will come down. It's just a, a normal no, 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 no. hardware. This is just a normal old PC. Yeah. Yep. Yep. If, if Mikhail was talking about anything, he was talking about the Pepper Pad. Is right. the 533 megahertz one? Oh, okay. And this one is just the, the 364 megahertz one. All right. So when are you gonna launch uh, the Pepper Pad OS? Uh, no. On this? Yeah. I don't know, we're still talking to Mikhail and the other folks at uh, OPC about how we could work with them. Little videos, and that's okay, it's not the greatest version, so I was done with it, still But also, there's no mail on this particular uh, user here. These are some Flash games. Ah, you can go to the casino. Yeah. As you can see, the resolution of the screen is so high that this game doesn't really, uh, it's a little hard to read. Right. There's just so much Wi-Fi traffic here at the show. Actually, let's, let's try the other one. Click. It snips all the Wi-Fi. You just choose the one you want to choose. Yep. There's like 40 different Wi-Fi's around here. <laughs> there's so many. We don't even show all of them because there's just too many. Yeah, it looks like our Wi-Fi is... Oh, there we are. We're online now. So you want to see videos? Yeah. Would it work? It should. Whoa. So you try and search for CES 2007 in one word, and maybe you will see my my. Uh, you try this Huawei. We're still on Wi-Fi? Kinda. <laughs> right. So given the Wi-Fi, I really don't know what the performance will be, but we'll see. Check. So uh, there's uh, how much memory on the, on the... 256 meg and a half a gigabyte of flash memory for storage. Half a gigabyte. No, you can just put another memory card there. Yep, you can do that too. It's like a little... It might be sometimes. So what if I click... Uh, yeah, you can click download. That'll work. You might want to pause this though. So it, so it might download an AVI. That should be okay. Right, yeah. There you go. 31 megabytes. But it's going to be like a... This is like a, a HD video, so I guess it oh. can play. It's 720p. Did we maybe, kill it there? Maybe something closed it. No, it's, it's still going. I think it just... It. Just a little oh, going. Up ah, it, it closes down automatically. Nice. Ah, oh, no, 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 it's not going to be HD, of course not. Yeah, I think Google would downsample it, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. Yes, 480... What's it called? 360p. It's a small one. Oh. So then I'm playing a DivX file actually. Uh, downloaded from Google. Uh, this, this, this is one of the other videos. And, if you, oh, and it's using the actual speakers of the player. It's amazing actually. Okay. They are from the video. Speaking and it's smooth. Uh, yeah, so we've done it. Uh, we've taken a good old pair of We've worked uh, with our support. All right. Uh, so, uh, uh, we all have access to my videos. I'm happy. <laughs> that's really nice. All right. That was. Uh, I was. That's impressive, actually. Yeah. And you, you, do you think that up to DVD resolution, maybe? Maybe. I don't know about this. Not sure. DVD we can do on here. I don't know. We, we haven't played maybe. enough around with that one. But that was 480 times 360, I think, resolution. So that's working.